What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. We're back in sunny London and the sun seems to be shining. I believe this is going to be the last of summer. I can't see it going on much longer. The weather forecast is looking rubbish here. So I think from now on it's going to be raining and I am not happy. I landed back from Turkey two days ago and I'm missing it so much. I've got real holiday blues. So today is a Tuesday and I'm up and ready to go to Bista Village on this beautiful day for some retail therapy. Now, it's quarter to eight in the morning and I'm pretty annoyed right now because Henry, my stupid twin brother, has decided to go out for a morning walk and a morning jog and I said, Henry, we need to leave for 8 a.m. I know what's gonna happen. We're gonna leave in like half an, in like an hour or something. He's still not back yet. And I was like, mate, we need to leave at eight. And he's got 15 minutes to get back and he needs to get ready, have his breakfast, do his hair, and he's still not back yet. I know what's gonna happen. I said, we're gonna have a little bicker. And he's gonna be like, it's not my fault, it's not my fault. I had to go for a walk. And I'll be like, Henry, we said we're gonna leave for 8 a.m. And it's nearly 8 a.m. and you're still not back. This is the life of being a twin. I was like, listen, mate, we've gotta go at eight. I wanna miss all the traffic, I wanna get there early, have some shopping time. Ugh, what it, this is what it's like living with Henry. He's always, always late and it drives me crazy, but we'll get there. Anyway guys, before I drop the intro, I've got a really special surprise waiting for me and you guys downstairs. So make sure you guys stay tuned because what we've got waiting downstairs is absolutely incredible. Let's get going. Whoa, and I almost forgot. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I promise you guys, this one's gonna be a good one. You know the drill. <laughs> Well, I know, mate, but I'm 45 I'm minutes quick, late already, bro. I'm being quick. Stop stressing. I know, but I'm, I'm 40, 45 minutes oh, late. Get it done. It's tough. tough. We're late. We're always late. We're late I'm always though. waiting for Henry. No, you're not. You're always I'm always waiting for, waiting for you. Always yeah, exactly. You just said it. Always, always waiting for me. Always him. Always Ennis. You know it's always you. Always Ennis. Ooh, and this is our mode of transport to Bista Village. What a beauty. I am certainly looking forward to driving this all the way there. Yeah. Woo. Let's go. This is absolutely ridiculous. Right, let's be very careful and have a safe journey to Vista Village. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in our bright yellow Audi R8. Very inconspicuous. <laughs> so I think Henry and I are both a little bit excited to take Rev this. Rev it. Ready? <laughs> it's absolutely oh, I, can stand it. I feel like really rich and important driving this, don't you? Yeah. We feel like important. One day we'll have one of these cars and we'll own it ourselves and not have to loan it. We do a lot of work with Audi and they've kindly loaned us this car for the week. So we're super excited to be we able to drive to this there. We struggled to get into the booth. Yeah, there. it took us about 10 minutes to figure out some of the buttons, but we're in, we're safe, and we're strapped in and ready to go. So, next stop, Vista Village, let's go. It is so nice, this He said, Mr. William. Uh, Park it up. Oh, let's see if we can get it in. Good. Stall it. Stall it. You can't stall it on a big bus, could you don't? Oh, if anyone can stall it, you can. You can't. You okay? Oh, shit. I'm just trying to figure out. You can't, mate. <laughs> God, How'd awkward. you put it in? Oh, there we go. You try. This is awkward. Here we go, here we go. Don't ever let this guy in a smart car. <laughs> go straight ahead. No, he said here, it's fine. Let's go straight ahead. Here we go. H and I have just landed in Vista Village. Can't see, but you can see the car behind me. Look at it, it's just insane. That was a gorgeous journey. Probably the best journey we've ever driven in a car just because we had this to spin around and it was incredible. Hey, we've got a full day of some retail therapy. I'm gonna prove to Henry that I am the way better dressed twin. Let's go, <laughs> Let's go do some shopping, guys. 
So if you guys haven't been to Vista Village before, what it is, is pretty much a massive outlet center. And honestly, the stores and shops here are incredible. You've got Gucci, you've got Burberry, you've got Levi's, you've got Timberland, you've got Tom Hilfiger, and everything is at a stupidly discounted price. And it is officially, I would say, the last day of summer here today, because the rest of the week, the weather is looking horrible. So we decided to come here, get out of London, and really appreciate the last bit of sun, because I think this is gonna be it for a while. And Henna's and I are a little bit upset, just having landed back from Turkey. But hey, we're going to be bringing out the water wardrobe and maybe today we'll be picking up some nice autumn, winter some kind of bits, outfits bro. and some new bits. So let's see what we'll pick up. So I'm really looking forward to this. And oh yeah, by the way, I've got to say, the Ralph Lauren hair, size bright. the Ralph Lauren hair is treated like a Primark. It is outrageous. And the t-shirts are like 12 pounds or something ludicrous. So we're going to spend the whole day here and really get some good retail therapy in the bag. And boy, are we excited? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So guys, first stop off is Timberland, as you can see behind me. I'm just trying on some of their denim pieces. These are actually sustainable and they're unbelievable. Really good quality. I absolutely love these. I think, I'm, I think this might be my first purchase of the day. I'm worried about how much I'm gonna spend here. <laughs> Getting them? Very good denim pieces. So I've just gone into Levi's and picked out some of their really nice denim pieces and some of their denim jeans here. These are their stretch slim and they fit so well. And I absolutely love this color. And because obviously it's an outlet store, these are so cheap. These are already like 40% off original price. And they said as soon as we walked in that they're doing buy one and get another pair half price. So I think I'm gonna be leaving here with a couple new pairs of denim jeans. Yes, in red. How much is it here? It's actually not even a bad. That's good for a winter coat like that. Really good. Look, you could you wear this and look like a round trees fruit, fruit pastel. <laughs> I'm only joking. It's nice. I like it already. Or a Starburst. Maybe Tommy will figure you some seriously nice bits. Like it's like even if you were to shop at the main store, it's actually not that expensive either, is it? No. It's really reasonable price for Louis Hamilton. He released his range last year, didn't he? I don't like it there. No, oh, that one. H for Henry. 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 That's a jump off. Let's just put this up so I think this is your jump nice. I think this is a jump for you, eh? That's definitely my jump off. Definitely your kind of jump off. Definitely my jump off. I actually like So I've just landed in Reese, one of my favourite stores, and I'm trying on some more trousers. Not denim yeah, this time, yeah, but these are kind of like the really comfortable kind of tracky kind of smart trousers but i think they're just a little bit too short did anyone notice the old socks my bad i think they're just a little bit short they're so nice but it's a little bit too short that sucks because i absolutely love them so we're in under armor trying on some of their t-shirts just for the gym the thing about under armor their stuff is so unpredictable like you'll find one shirt in a large which fits so nice and then you'll try another one, but look how short this is. It's far too short. Honestly, it looks ridiculous. If I stand up short, look, yeah, my belt's there. It's ridiculous. Hmm, not happy about because I like this top as well. But we picked up some of the Rocks gear. Yes, Dwayne Johnson, if you're watching, holla. Focus! <laughs> and some of his gear is so nice, so I'm definitely gonna be taking some of that. But some of the ordinary bits, too small, not for me. So H and I have just jumped into Bellstaff. And their jackets are absolutely ridiculous. We love this, but we can't tell. Oh, we're undecided, shall I say. And whether the back looks a little bit like a dress. But like if you look there, that's quite dressy, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Their jackets are so nice, like perfect. It's just literally, this is the last day of summer. It's gonna be horrible the next few weeks. The weather's looking terrible. So this is literally perfect, and it's literally half the price. I'm undecided. The details on the um, Bell Star jackets, though, are just next level. I literally, like any gent watching this, or even any women, 
they do some really nice pieces for everyone and they're unbelievable especially if you live in the country and if you're in the UK hmm I'm very undecided but I do like it a lot help so we're darting around from shop to shop and now time for the creme de la creme of Ralph Lauren stores it's behind me I promise this is the most ludicrous Ralph Lauren store in the world because it is just so cheap it's like a Primark it's literally they treat it like a Primark okay, so I'm just going to show you guys what it's like inside because no doubt Hennis and I are going to find some absolute bargains inside <laughs> not that I need any more stuff hmm. okay so actually their store isn't as crazy as it was last time but it's actually very well presented and it's all a lot cheaper than normal some real nice bits here Okay, so I think I might have found the one camo jacket from Ralph Lauren here. What are your thoughts? I love the details, and I absolutely love all these like stick um, badges and stuff. So dope. Oh, this is really. I'm torn. I absolutely love this so much. The thing is, you can wear this smart and casual as well because it's such high quality. You can wear this with like a nice pair of white chinos or something, some loafers that look so dope. Which like black jeans and boots, easy. I absolutely love it. So look, we're in Central, we're in Ralph Lauren, picked up the jacket, and this lovely girl has just said she's scared of setting up her own vlog channel. She says she's nervous, don't be nervous, come say hello. Come on. Hi. What a legend. <laughs> the staff here are so nice. And we've just picked up loads more stuff. I feel a little bit guilty now because we're spending far too much money, but hey. That's what we do at Mr. Village, right? Exactly. Everything's discounted and we just keep shopping. Shop till we drop. So your boy has had a very successful day yes. so far. Henry, how's your day been? Talk to the ones. How, how much stuff you bought today? Nothing. It's fine in our lives. Terrible. So picky. I am too picky. So picky. <laughs> Good day for me. So guys, we've been shopping for quite a while now and who knew shopping can actually be so tiring? Walking around, trying things on, taking things off, putting things back on, taking them off again, trying them on again. I'm terrible for it. I'll try on a pair of jeans but I'm not sure and then I'll go back into the same store 10 minutes later and be like, oh actually I want them. Let me try them on again though. Absolute idiot. Anyway, we're getting, Henry and I are both getting pretty exhausted now so we stopped off at this awesome little kind of farmhouse restaurant, cafe and it is so gorgeous. It's all like wooden. It smells incredible in here. I've just gone up to the top floor, but check how beautiful this is behind me. Bit of a better angle from down here. I can imagine this being so cozy in winter. Jeez, there's our food being cooked up, which looks damn good. Love a bit of fresh salad. This looks incredible. How bang does that look? Full of health. And we had to get three of the sides because we're big boys. This looks good. This Did you get it? Got it. <laughs> Tragic guy. Tragic guy. Get off my vlog. This guy is happy. Legend. <laughs> so today has been a very successful day. As you can see behind me, some of the bits I bought. I will be showing you guys when I'm home. H have rather what? Sorry, Henry's just turned up. Sorry? Yeah, we, Henry's trying to compare some of the, the cars in the, in, the, in the car park. We've got some Bentleys here. We've got the Audi. We've got some Lamborghinis over there. It's a serious car park here. But anyway, Henry's driving home. Please don't drive like an idiot. Please don't drive like an idiot, okay? And get your hands off my stuff. He already wants, he didn't buy one thing, he already wants all my stuff. Terrible bloke. So we didn't really think out the process when we went shopping today. Because the boot, which is located in the front of the car, isn't really fitting all the stuff in. Uh -uh. Let's see how we get on. Okay, moment of truth. I think we're okay. Back to London. Let's go. Right guys, I've just landed back home after what was actually quite a pleasant journey. Henry's driving wasn't as bad as I thought. I swear it always seems whenever you drive somewhere and then drive back, the journey back for some reason always seems twice as quick. So we blasted that home at 70 miles an hour. Henry didn't go over the speed limit, I promise. 
<laughs> but um, I've got my bags behind me. I can't exactly show you guys what I've picked up yet because I've got to dart straight back out the door because Henry and I have got to, like a fitness course today and we are running very behind schedule. I just got caught up shopping as you can kind of see behind me. So I'll probably catch you guys tomorrow morning and or tomorrow afternoon and I'll show you exactly what I got. Have a good night guys, peace. Good morning guys. So yesterday got a little bit crazy as soon as I landed home from Vista Village, I had to chuck my bags down, get changed, and race across London to get to my fitness course on time. As per usual, Henry and I were running a little bit late, so we had to get there so quickly, and I didn't have time to show you guys what I picked up throughout the day. So now is the time to style up some of the pieces I got and show you guys exactly what I picked up. Let's go. So the shops I picked some bits up were Ralph Lauren, as you saw in the video. I got some bits from Timberland, uh, some jeans from Levi's, uh, Under Armour gym gear, which I love, and a really nice Bell Staff jacket. Now I'm gonna style up some of these pieces for you guys and show you exactly what I got. Let's go. So here is outfit number one and purchase number one. I showed you this guy's in the Ralph Friends store and I had to pick it up because I absolutely loved it. But it's this camo jacket with these badges and all the details, it's unbelievable. So this is kind of like a, a great autumn outfit, I think. Light kind of blue jeans. These are the ones I picked up actually from Levi's. These are actually sustainable, which are incredible. These Gordon Rush kind of brown and white trainers, ankles out, Levi's jeans, white t-shirt and camo jacket. Really smart chilled and comfortable. I think this is one of my favorite pieces I've ever bought. I absolutely love it. It is originally 400 pounds. I got it for 270, which is absolutely incredible. I think that's a steal. The quality on this is great. It's gonna last me for years to come. On to outfit numero two. Let's go. Uh, outfit numero two and item number two. And I'm gonna showcase you this. It's this Bell Staff kind of like Rain Mac thin jacket. I absolutely love this. This is the last purchase of the day. I walked into Bellstaff, tried on that long kind of raincoat, which I showed you guys. But I thought it was a little, too, little bit too lengthy at the back. I didn't really like the fit. And this was there, and this was so cheap, reduced from like 330 pounds to 100 or something like that. And I was like, I can never always justify spending so much money on jackets. Bellstaff is a quite an expensive brand. Their jackets range from anywhere from like 300 to like 5,000 pounds and I thought, I'm sure it's about 5,000, they're quite expensive. And this one for 100 pounds is incredible. If you wanna buy some expensive item guys, I couldn't recommend going to Bista Village because you get your hands on absolute bargains. And this is great, I absolutely love going into autumn here in the UK, I don't want anything too thick. This is perfect. You wear this smart, casually, a little bit like I'm wearing now. This is kind of like a smart, casual look. I've worn it with these like kind of like crop trousers from River Island. These Gordon Rush black and white leather trainers, a white t-shirt, and it's this real smart casual look. Just nip, nip, chuck this on, nip into town. Or you can even wear it like over a smarter look, some suit trousers, some boots, whatever like that. Yeah, this is unbelievable, I absolutely love this. Finally got my hands on a Bell Staff jacket and I got it for literally 100 pounds. That is a bargain. And it's a cool look, I like it. On to items number three, let's go. And on to the final pieces, and that is my Under Armour gear. This is, the piece I showed you briefly in the changing room, it's from The Rock, his um, collab with Under Armour. It does need a bit of an iron, sorry, it's been stuck in the back for 24 hours. But I absolutely love this and it fits so well. And on the back, I don't know if you can see it, it says Iron Paradise. I can't wait, this is actually gonna get me motivated in the gym. Whenever I wear new gym gear, I just get a massive buzz and I absolutely love the color on this. Focus! I also picked up just a couple of their plain uh, T-shirts. If you remember earlier on in the video, I showed you guys some of their stuff doesn't fit so well. So be re you have to, I just find with Under Arm, you have to go in and try it on because some of their tops just come up a little bit short on me. But this one is just perfect. Fits really well, nice loose fit, tight around the arms, and it's got this stretchy material. And it's from The Rock. I've always wanted some of The Rock's gear, and this just, I love it. It's so cool. The details on the arms, the balls kind of faces, his logo. Details are awesome, and it fits so well. I got this for, I think, like 33% off, so really worthwhile. I also picked up a couple more pairs of jeans from Timberland, which were great. I never usually buy denim from Timberland, but they do some great sustainable pieces in there, and I absolutely love them. So I highly recommend checking out the new sustainable bits from Levi's and Timberland. If you want to see some new jeans, uh, men and women, I'm sure they do they do great selection in both stores, which is great. But anyway, guys, time to sign off this vlog. I do hope you guys have enjoyed it. It's been a good day 
getting in some retail therapy and seeing out the summer. Um, let me know which kind of outfit you guys preferred and which item you guys loved the best that I picked up. Uh, drop a little comment below and let me know. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.